Farmstead fans, it's Kimber in the kitchen with Miss Marion. Today we are making a super fun, quick and easy holiday appetizer. It is a four part Christmas tree pizza. I am super excited to get started. What do we need to do, Miss Marion? So the first thing you need to do is mix your dough. Now you can be creative and you can make homemade dough or you can get the packaged mix but you just add water and olive oil and that's what we did here. The next thing you want to do is get your toppings together. So we have lots and lots of relic shredded cheese. We have artichokes. We also have some dried um, hot peppers from my garden that if you want to use hot pepper, give it a little kick, you can do that. And down here, we have peppers, tomatoes, oregano, broccoli, all kinds of yummy stuff to add on top. And for the sauce, again, you know, we love to use our canned tomato sauce, honey. You can use this for everything. So we're going to use this for our pizza sauce. And yeah, and, oh, olive oil. You want to use olive oil to brush on top of your pizza before you add your stuff as it cooks. That sounds so delicious. I'm excited. I headed down to my garden right before heading over here. And I picked the last of my broccoli that's ready. I got a few of the peppers, tomatoes, and some of my herbs that were in the garden. So. This is a veggie lover's pizza. Head down to your garden and pick whatever is left in your garden right now and throw it all in. Just go crazy, make it wonderful, delicious. I'm sure no matter what, your friends are gonna love it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make little balls out of your dough. So we decided last minute, guys, to put some cheese in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So you mix the cheese in the dough. You wanna have some flour on your hands. I just put some flour right here so your hands are gonna get a little dirty, it's okay. And you just wanna make your little balls and you want to put them in a shape as a triangle. So we have one on top and then two and three and so on until you have your triangle. At the very bottom, you're gonna to want to kind of cut these in half and you make a little rectangle for the stump of your tree. And you want to leave a little space. So you want to leave a little space in between your balls because they're going to spread out a little bit. So leave a little space so they can spread out. And we're going to show you what our tree looks like. Look at this. It's a Christmas tree. Yes. And you know what you can do to take this to the next level? What? You can melt some butter, mix it with some garlic, and you can Ooh, use a brush and you can just spread it on top. Oh my gosh. Sounds so good. good. Okay, so, so good. oil, if you want it quick and easy, if you want to do a little extra, I love it. I love it. Melted butter with garlic. So you choose whichever one you want to do. Pop it in the oven for 10 minutes. And you just want to check on it because it's a little thicker knots that we have here, or balls that we have here. So you want to make sure it's kind of cooked all the way through before you add your toppings on top of it. Because the toppings are already cooked. You're just letting that warm up and letting the cheese kind of goose all in there. But we want to make sure the dough is cooked all the way through. So I would say 10 minutes and then kind of check. It's on The oven's on 350, by the way, and it's already been preheated. So we're going to brush this with some yummy butter and some garlic to get all the flavors together, honey, and then we're going to put it in the oven and we're going to show you what it looks like when it comes out. Sounds good. Awesome. So now we have this beautiful pizza out the oven. Can you guys see how gorgeous this is? So this was in the oven for about 15 minutes. And we took this out. Now we're gonna add our sauce. We're gonna add our broccoli. We're gonna add our tomatoes, our peppers, our artichokes, and our cheese. And we're gonna pop it back in the oven for around about five minutes to kind of check and see how it's doing. And we're gonna make sure the cheese is nice and gooey and melted. Yes, definitely. It sounds delicious. I am super excited. I am super hungry. So let's toss this off and get it in the oven. Hey friends, so we just took out our pool apart Christmas tree pizza. It smells delicious. It looks delicious. I can't wait to get into it. The best part is a lot of the ingredients we grew in our own gardens. And you saw us can this tomato sauce right here that we use as pizza sauce. So if you want to see that video, we'll leave that link below. Leave us some comments on what you would put on top of your veggie pizza. I love it. I am super excited. 